This video will show you how to create an underbody while tying in hand. As you can see by this Frank Gray, some classic patterns featured very thick, heavily tapered bodies. This method is similar to the UTC thread method, however you'll be using floss instead of UTC thread to create the taper. Start by selecting your hook and creating a gut eye loop. Take some heavily waxed gossamer and tie on to your hook. Just a few turns just to get it started so you can put your gut loop on. You can tie on the sides of the shank or under the shank. It's really a personal preference. Since I'm tying a mom fly with um, a full feather wing, I'm putting them on the sides. It just creates a wider platform for you to put a full feather wing on. Classic flies generally were tied with a gut on the underside of the shank. Um, since this is just a display fly, I'm not too worried about it being authentic and doing it the super traditional way. So as I go down, I just tie it on the side and twist the gut as you need to keep it in line with the shank. And once you get to just before the tapered ends of your gut strands, I just make sure the gut legs are spread apart and they're not on top of each other, creating an even wider platform. Bring your other leg down and tie it in and go back up. Make sure you're doing really good tight edge to edge wraps. You really want to make sure that's tied in well. You don't want it to shift after you get done doing this. And work your way back down. If you really want to make sure it's not going to go anywhere, you could put a couple coats of varnish on that just to seal everything in. However, I tend to recycle my gut as I'm cheap and I don't like to buy more of it. So now I've cut out a strand of floss. Uh, generally, I prefer to use um, Pearsall Stout for doing this. This is the underbody, which is a little thinner, and it's not really my favorite. Um, but it will do the trick. It just takes longer because it's such a finer th uh, floss than the stout is. And you can see I tie it in right behind the gut legs. You want to essentially build up the um, taper and make up that space there. And by the time you go up and down the body a few times with the floss and you tie in a few more pieces, it should even it out. And as you can see, I spiral wrap it down to pretty much at the hook point and spiral it back up and then I just do a half hitch right behind the gut legs again just building up bulk and creating a taper from that point Okay, cut the thread out just so it's not in your way. And take the twist out of the floss by just twisting it a little bit with your fingers so it lays flat. And work your way down. And pretty much I stop right before the where the tag will go on the fly. And then just take your time and make sure you get a nice, you know, even level tapered build up on your way back up. And then as you're wrapping it up you want to just let the twist come back into it and that will help to build up bulk and it will help to taper your body and just good edge to edge wraps with your floss and keep going all the way up and then once you get to where the gut legs are you're going to want to take your twist out again so that way you're not building bulk onto your gut legs. And by flattening it out like that, it will pretty much just, you know, only add a minute amount of bulk there. And just do that all the way up. And I stop a few wraps short of uh, the front of the fly. And then turn around and head back down. 
all the while keeping it nice and flat. You can see I take the twist out here and there. And then let it twist come back into it as you come back down to help take up more space. Again, just edge to edge wraps. Now, about there at the hook point, you're going to want to start taking the twist out again. And just work it back. You can see how it wiggle it, and that helps to splay it out even more. And then just work your way back up, noting your taper and adjusting as necessary to create an even taper all the way back up. Just keep going. Like I said, this is pretty much the exact same way as doing the UTC underbody method. Um, however, you're just using a heavy floss instead. On a hook this size, I could get away with a few pieces, or probably even just two pieces of uh, stout to do the underbody just because it's so much heavier, but this is going to require quite a bit more because it's the underbody. And again, I try to tie off and tie in new uh, pieces right behind those gut leg strands just so that way it helps to build up the taper again. Put your thread back on, tie it off, clip out your waist piece of your floss. And then tie another piece in. Tie the first piece on the back side, so I tie this one on the uh, front side. And I put a wrap down and then just draw it down a little tiny bit just so it helps to taper it up and get it right into position right behind those gut leg strands. And just do another little half hitch just to hold everything down. Tighten it up good. Clip it out. And take your twist out, especially when you first start out. You don't want to create a big lump right there. And again, just spout or just wrap it down edge to edge. You can see it start to transition again. It might take a couple times of doing this before you really get the hang of it, but once you're used to it, it actually really doesn't take that long at all to do an underbody. I was going a lot slower than I normally would. You can see that the the gap between the where the gut's tied in and the body is starting to close. And again, just flatten it out and bring it up. Obviously, if this was a salmon fly, you would want to be a, a little more judicious with your wraps and however, and all the things that you're doing here. Um, being a mom fly, this, you know, characteristically, they did have large heads, so I really don't have a problem building up a lot of bulk at the front of the fly.
and once it's good enough for what you need it to be, um, you can tie in a, a full length piece of gossamer for doing your actual body work. Once I tie it in, I just go up and down the body just to tighten everything up and make sure it's not going to go anywhere. When I do get down towards the tag, I do edge to edge wraps just because it's usually floss there or even tinsel, and you want a good platform for that. And then I put one or two wraps of thread right behind that end of the floss section, and then slowly work your way back up. This just helps to create a nice even taper to it. And then really tighten up and do some spiral wraps up to your eye, and then even out your platform right there. And as you tighten that in, or tie that down into there, it'll really suck up into it. And you, you pretty much won't even notice any lumps or bumps from the thread if you tighten it in there because it'll really sink into that floss. And then work your way down to the top of your tag and you're ready to go. Hope that helps.